I just made up a new rule. If you're wearing this shirt, you get handed the mic. CYT Army. What's your name? Serena. Serena, no one. Nice to meet you. In the morning, we gather for a rally at 11.30, and then we go on the march at noon. And then once we're done with the march and people getting arrested and whatnot, come back here. We just met on camera. Yeah. But we were both wearing the shirt, by chance. I decided that it was time to stop standing on the sidelines. Seeing the Young Turks come on and get involved in covering this was inspirational for me. I'm a, so I'm essentially I'm a Young Turks viewer who saw this beginning and then sort of thought, I need to actually put myself there as well. There's a blackout on anything that has to do with wanting campaign finance reform. I had just found out about it on Saturday. So, you know, I'm like, well, well shit, I got to go to that. So I came here on Tuesday. I got arrested yesterday. They gave me this cute little fan dangled band type thing. I don't know. It's just been a really beautiful experience. There's been hundreds of people gathering for the same purpose, you know, to get money out of politics. Um, and each day it's been different groups of people. You chose to get arrested on Racial Justice Day. You could have chosen tomorrow, which is Youth and Students Day. Right. Black Lives Matter is a huge movement and it's a great movement you know I've seen these very young black men and women unarmed being murdered in the streets that's something I'll never be able to understand you know I walk down the street I don't worry about you know the possibility of being shot and killed by a police officer you know and if we can rally together white people with black people you know fighting for the same cause getting arrested for the same cause unfortunately people listen to white people more than they listen to black people so if we stand together we have a bigger voice it feels like such a natural upwelling of energy here I think it's wonderful. It's, it's a dicey choice for a, a media brand to jump in like this and cover it so in depth, but it's uh, inspirational to see them putting them, deciding that this is a good cause and jumping in with their, you know, coverage. Kind of like Fox News decided there should be a tea party. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, I've seen them talk about this on The Young Turks where it's like the left needs more of a stronger, uh, a media leading the charge in a little bit. So this is great to see the Young Turks leading the charge like Fox did for the Tea Party. Well, the way I look at it is that Fox is representing the interests of their audience, which is older white people. That's right. And the Young Turks represents the America we are becoming, a younger, uh, more diverse America. That's right. And Democracy Spring is about the America we want to be. Yes. And this isn't just the left. This is bringing people together in interesting new ways. Yeah, I mean, TYT is the only reason why I even knew about Democracy Spring. So thank God for TYT. You know. um, okay, and then you had a special message that you... <laughs> His reaction is going to be interesting. I, I have no idea what you're going to say. Okay, um, if I had the opportunity to cheat on my boyfriend, who I love dearly and it would never happen, but if I did, I would totally rock Johnny Pie all day, all night. That hot atheist body of his would be mine for hours. You're welcome, Johnny Pie. You're welcome. You can call me. There's probably ways to contact me. I live in Pennsylvania. I'm so weird. That was much more than I expected. But most importantly, I'm here for campaign finance reform. That's right. But in addition to that, yes. Oh, Johnny Pie. Oh, Johnny Pie. <laughs> it was worth it. Anything to add, Noah? I'm speechless. <laughs> you would do him too. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>